Oops, hey there! Today we're gonna unbox this one retro pop espresso coffee machine. So, let's get started! So my item came in this box. I ordered this coffee machine from Amazon. Although some companies or some uh, shops are also offering this brand. But I find it convenient to get it from Amazon because it came or it comes so quick. So let's try to open the box now. Just be careful with the knife. And you know like Swan is a very good brand. They said it's a reputable company established in 1931. Now I could see the main box well protected it's so cute it's pink it's so stylish and I found loads of good reviews about this product before I bought it so there it goes so you see the box now it says Swan retro designed for life and it says um, part of the extensive Swan retro range it says here the ultimate barista perfect for a variety of coffees either you want cappuccino americano latte or flat white it's up to you it's offering top end technology and retro styling for the style conscious homeowner this coffee machine is part of the on trend swan retro range available in range of classic colors to suit any kitchen but i love pink it also comes in two-year guarantee, so they are proud that their product is of superior quality. So here it is. I just want to show you the actual size of the box before we open it. So at least you'll have an idea how lightweight and compact it is. It also makes a beautiful gift for any coffee lover. Now I can see the instruction manual. We have to read it first before we could use this item. But I will do a separate video on making coffee from it. Basically, this will tell you how to use the product for the first time, some safety tips, and troubleshooting guide. Let's skip it and I'll read it later. Let's try first to get this uh, machine out of the box. So there's nothing else inside it okay okay let's continue to open it but before I forget did I mention that this small coffee maker or espresso maker is powerful small but powerful because it has 15 bars of pressure just like some of the home espresso machine that you can get online which are more expensive let's take this out okay have to remove this uh, film on top and we have some attachments here let's see that later yep I'll open this later and show you what's in this oh I found the porta filter so I'm excited to open it up but wait till later have to remove this one first There it is. So here you go. I'm gonna show you its actual size. Yeah. So it's compact. If you have a small kitchen, it's perfect. So look, have another look of its actual size. So here it is. Yep. That's how it looks like. And then we'll move to the table to explore some of its parts okay now let's explore more of this coffee machine so it has this steaming wand here it moves yeah so you get a better angle if you're steaming the milk i think you just need to get a smaller jug so you will have a better positioning of this steaming wand 
So this is the steam knob. This controls the steam that comes out from your steam wand. So cute. You can see here the temperature. And then this is the control panel. Here you can find the different buttons. Like the steam button, the pump control button, and the on and off. You can also see some light indicators here. And then the, the lock and the unlock for the water filter. And this is the drip tray. So here on top is the drip plate. Let me remove it. So this is the drip plate. And inside you can see this red thing. That is the flood bulb. This one, yeah, that's the flood bulb. You can see also the brand logo in front. So you can remove this strip tray if you had a bigger or taller uh, mugs or cups. Okay, now let's see these attachments here. So this is the porta filter. So, yep the filter this is the coffee filter yep the coffee filter is right in front you just have to twist it yep it's quite locked and secure take this one is for double shots because it's deep yeah coffee filter on top of the porta filter this porta filter goes in the middle here should be like that okay. Here. and then what else is inside um, I could see this is a scooper if you're scooping coffee ground yep freshly ground coffee and then this one is the tamper I will make a separate videos when making espresso shots in this machine. Now this black thing here that I'm pushing upward is to stop the port uh, oh no I mean the coffee filter from uh, falling out when you are trying to knock the coffee granules out from the coffee filter. So it has a small brush as well for cleaning. Yeah. This coffee machine also is compatible with easy espresso shots as well. So this is the lock position of the porta filter. It should be in the middle. I'm still getting the hang of it to put it in the middle because it's quite tight. Maybe it's meant to be really tight. So that's the unlock position and then the lock position should be in the middle next I'm gonna show you the water tank it has 1.2 liters capacity so you can make two coffees yep but it's easy to see if you need to refill it yep the lid as well there even the handle I suggest you use the filtered water or distilled water so you don't have to be bothered about the scaling I'm so excited to use this machine to make some coffee like latte, cappuccino, flat white, or mocha. The steam pressure control even lets you create your froth exactly how you like it. You can add ice to make it an ice latte. If you know something about coffee making, then it's the time for you to impress your guests 
or make you and your partner that morning coffee fix to get the day going. It looks very easy to clean as well, so it's no hassle. Especially if you use the easy espresso shots. So let's have a final look and then after this we will try to make another video of uh, espresso making to know the performance of this uh, coffee machine. I want to know how it froths the milk and how good is the espresso coming out. Okay, so watch out for that video coming out soon. Okay, this coffee machine stays there for the meantime while I'm finding some space for it in the kitchen. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful if you're trying to look for some home espresso machine. It depends on your personality or if you want it stylish like this one that I've got. It has a retro styling on it and it has different colors as well, not just pink. It's all up to you but um, I prefer this color. It's really cute, isn't it? <laughs> so that's for now, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Pinai Life in London. Stay well and safe. Bye.